against this defense being doubled the entire game? I mean, great. You know, uh, I always said uh, they're going to make a run, so they made a, make a run. Uh, I told the guys we just got to stay together, and that's what we did. You know, it's a great win, man. Yeah, just like I said, you know, that's been uh, the key point, uh, especially in the road. Uh, we just got to stay together because uh, every NBA team, uh, especially this team with KD and Book on their team, they're going to make a run at some point. So uh, we just say, you know, we got to stay together. Especially given their defense, given the doubling, how much is, is Lively's impact and his, his return and, you know, just being there to catch those passes in the middle. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, Lively is a great player. Uh, now he's making the hook shots too, so <laughs> yeah, this is great. Did you teach him that? No, it's not the full hook. It's uh, not. It's not uh, too much. No, no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> At some point. Luka, given the the rivalry here, the, the history of this team, you know, you come up for warm ups, you're getting booed. Or in the game, every time you touch, you're getting booed. How much pleasure do you take in having this kind of performance? I mean, it's it's great. You know, I love playing in these environments. Uh, especially away, uh, it's fun for me, you know. Uh, when you make a shot, you know, the whole gym is is quiet, so uh, that is the best feeling in the world. When you're, when you're running down after a big make or into a timeout, are, are you talking to the fans? Are you talking to their bench? Or are you talking to, are you just talking? No, I barely talked to that, uh, so I wasn't really talking. You, you were wearing a St. Jean outfit. Oh, it was St. Jean and Q, yeah. And, uh, no, I, I, was, I was telling them I'm catch and shoot this year, so they got to step up on my catch and shoot. <laughs> oh, well, those are my guys, man, so I was just having fun with them. You know, we always ask you about these crazy historical clubs that you're in. First quarter, you hit 10,000 points, <laughs> fewest games since Jordan. Then you're on a real short list of 50-point games on, on Christmas Day. I mean, can you, can you enjoy that? Can you, like, put that in the, in the perspective? I mean, obviously you can, you know, uh, but always when this kind of words come with a win, uh, it's even more fun, you know. Uh, that was a tough road game and we won. So uh, outside of the 10K and 50 points, you know, we won the game. So I'm really happy. So, so how, how much were you feeling it there when you hit the logo shot that actually put you over 10K? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm, but then I made one catch and shoot, so I was, I was really happy. Like I told you before the season, I was working on my catch and shoots. Did, did you did you know that there's a running joke the past couple seasons that if you're hitting your threes, you're not hitting your free throws, or if you're hitting your free throws, you're not hitting your threes? Yeah. What is what is kid was talking to you up the other day? You know what is twelve of twelve, and, and that you're also, you know, connecting at the line. Mean? Yeah, I mean it's good. I just gotta relax and just knock it in the free throws. You know the free the free throws for me are more concentration. I think so. It's got to relax and knock it in. Luca, you know, in the third quarter, that's when the Suns made the run. I believe you guys were down one point going into the fourth quarter. Um, you know, you guys really held your composure there. Just being in these situations like that, how do you go into that situation to say, like, you know, we can bounce back? It's only one point. Type of thing. Just like I said, the first question, you know, we just got to stay together. Uh, talk to the guys to stay together. And just, like I said, this team is going to have a run at some point for sure. So we just got to stay together. Teammates on the wing like Dante Exum and Derek Jones have made a lot of plays attacking downhill in those four on three situations. How helpful is it to have players with those types of skill sets next to you? I mean, great. You know, uh, I told D. Jones, keep shooting, man. You open, you got to keep shooting. And that's what he did. And he he knocked uh, two of the really important threes at the end of fourth. So, uh, but Dante is great. Dante has been great the whole season. So I'm really happy to play with those guys. When did you realize that Lively was going to be? ready to contribute this much as a rookie? Hmm. You mean the exact date? I mean, like, when, when you, like, <laughs> I mean, if you know it, when you sure. saw the, like, yeah. When you saw this kid at camp, did you think, hey, this is going to be a, you know, a, a starting big who's going to be this impactful? You don't see 19-year-old bigs this impactful. Right? Yeah, I mean, obviously I knew he was going to be great. Uh, but the way he's performed since the first game, it's been amazing, you know. Uh, I didn't expect this this impact of him because he's been playing like he's in the league for 10 years already. So I'm really proud of this guy. You know, he works on his game and he listens to me. So it's it's a great combo. 
I've been looking at some uh, Twitter chats talking about, too, that you've just been playing incredible since the birth of your child type of thing. Do you think you're playing like, is that a little added on your... I mean, that's one thing. I mean, I'm happy in my life, so, uh, you know, uh, I can't go home home back uh, back home today, I wish, but tomorrow I can't wait to see her, so that's a big impact. Thank you. Thank you, Luca. Nobody's going to ask me about my defense, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Four steals, three blocks.